Hi, I'm Kayla Mendez. And I'm Oscar Granados. Today is May 17th, 2019. Welcome back to Braddock TV. As we all know, teenagers on a day-to-day -day basis are faced with constant anxieties and mental health. Here's David with this week's Spotlight. The month of May is dedicated to mental health awareness. Mental illness is something that is commonly overlooked and portrayed as teenage things or a phase. Symptoms aren't mistaken as typical emotions that adolescents are faced with such as social anxiety and self-doubt. Although these feelings don't directly show mental illness, the period of time that they last along with the intensity of them does. The stigma around mental health keeps people in denial about the struggle with mental illness. Society as a whole never shows that the suicide rate in teenagers increased 77% from 2004 to 2018. Uh, we have a crisis in uh, our modern society and we uh, need to be doing a lot more. Uh, we need to be working on offering a lot of support and so that we can have uh, better mental health among our, our student body. And if we improve on the mental health of our students, then we'll avoid a lot of the issues and problems we have uh, that we see in, uh, in schools nowadays. I believe that they should be adjusted in school because mental health and suicide is a big problem among teenagers. So through talking to students and having the school take a more proactive approach towards this problem, I think it would better help the student population. Yeah, I think that mental health should be addressed in school because we spend a lot of our time here um, in a different environment that's not home and we should totally talk about that. I think that uh, the, the whole country should have uh, a class where students uh, work on, uh, on mental health and they get a lot of the tools that otherwise they would not be able to get uh, at home uh, because these are topics that are not usually discussed. In our society, suicide is like a taboo. Uh, mental health is a taboo. It's, it's never is never something that, that we tend to talk about or emphasis and uh, put emphasis on. Through educating teens on how to, you know, be more preventative towards suicide and feeling depressed, we could teach them coping mechanisms and ways of managing their stress because through doing that, we give them more techniques to better cope with the problem, even if they want to do it by themselves and not open up. By educating people about mental disorders such as anxiety, depression, BPD, stuff like that, um, it really erases the stigma and I think the stigma is what prevents us from talking about that. So we definitely like should implement more programs to talk about it. 90% of those that commit suicide have struggled with mental illness and one out of five teens struggle with mental illness during the adolescence years. Youth may not always know how to share feelings with teachers or parents but might with peers. It is more likely they will receive support if those peers have learned about available resources and the importance of not stigmatizing or judging illness like depression or anxiety. Normalizing conversations and providing youth and families with education around mental illness and suicide supports, this is suicide prevention. Recently, society has been immersed with the latest events that have occurred in the past week. Here's an Ellis for World News. The famous 2019 Met Gala took place on May 6. It had over 600 guests ranging from A-listers, celebrities, to designers and brand sponsors. Celebrities came packing with the latest, strangest fashion following along with this year's theme, Camp. Stars from different genres and styles came in what they believed to be the most unique thing their designers could think of. Katy Perry making her debut in a fast food burger outfit, Zendaya showing up in a light up dress inspired by the children's stories of Cinderella, and then Lady Gaga stealing the show with a transformative dress, morphing into completely different styles and colors at her back, and called by shedding off some layers. The event created in 1946 is raising money for the Benefit Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute. On May 6, an air fault Russian plane just 30 minutes after takeoff looped back to North Moscow for an emergency landing. Sadly, due to the speed of the plane, it hit runaway again, this time bursting into flames. Only 37 people out of 78 
passengers survived this horrific accident. This includes five that are currently receiving treatment in a hospital. Our deepest condolences to all families lost. Hey, Oscar, I didn't realize you were a cop in training. Yeah, there's some footage of me out there putting some punks in place. Actually, I think we have that footage in the back, so let's see it. All right, then. What you call me? Alright, right. I've had enough of this. Confess to your crimes. Listen, bro, I ain't done nothing. You, have, you haven't paid your parking decal? And just for that, you're getting two weeks, buddy. I don't care, I'm missing class. You know what? Just for that, you're getting a week off. Do you know what you're in here for? First of all, it's five, and I could care less what you think. Second of all, just for that, you're getting four days indoor CSI and custodial work to top it off, El Papo. No, de madre. Yeah, that sucks. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GHB underscore TV. And tune in to our YouTube channel on Fridays at 10.15 for new episodes. And remember to make it happen with, with Braddock, Braddock TV. TV.